Hey everybody, what's up? It's AFK Assassin here. I am playing a game. Um, I am playing this game. It's called Socket of Spirit. Uh, here are the characters. You're probably told what kind of game it is. It is an anime game. It is a game. <laughs> it's a dating sim. Um, I don't know why I'm playing this or why I would even record playing it, but I'm going to. It does have some pretty high ratings in both senses, um, like the game rating and the rating, rating, like, whatever, um, so yeah, this is supposed to be a good game, I hope it's not too overboard, um, and yeah, I guess I'll, Sorry, I was just reading something. Um, alright, I guess let's start the game. Every person has a dream they wish to pursue. Yet as people grow up, they often are forced to realize that obtaining that dream is just that. A childish illusion that is simply impossible to reach out for. At least that's what most people say. Then what about those who do accomplish their dreams? Are they merely incredibly lucky? <laughs> Every man has a dream they want to accomplish. However, there is something really important you should know, my boy. That a real man doesn't give up on their dream, no matter what overwhelming challenges they might face. I still remember these foolish words my dad used to say, and despite their silly nature, I found myself inspired by them. Ever since I was a child, I was interested in martial arts. It didn't matter whether it was following a match on television or reading a manga about some heroic martial artist, it always it always been a dream for me to become a martial artist someday. Of course, it was a bit childish to admit I wanted to learn martial arts to be, to be a hero. Um, well, at my age, I already came to understand that superheroes were a part of our imagination. I still felt the desire to use my power for others, their, for others their sake. Something tells me this is actually a Japanese game because the English is bad. I'm guessing it's just English. My name is uh, my name is Gushiken Takahiro. Sorry, Mike. Oh, so oh, sorry. 17 years old, rising judo star, and no, and no, that's not me doing some smug talking. I'm actually about to take part in a competition two weeks from now that could make or break my career as an international, at an international level. Of course, I was excited about the opportunity to finally accomplish my dreams and represent my country at, at, a, at, a, at a sport that I love. But the same excitement also made me feel incredibly nervous. All those worrisome thoughts haunted in my mind, a familiar voice resounded from outside the window. Koyomi? Or Koyomi? Koyomi. Oi, Takakun, get your butt in gear. Okay, you go. Hi! <laughs> Japanese. Um, for those of you who don't know anything about Japanese, hi means yes. It does not mean, hey, what's up? It doesn't mean hello or hi, that would be konnichiwa. So, hi! I'll be right there, Koyomi. Not wanting to keep Koyomi waiting, I quickly dashed for the front door to let her in, not even realizing that I was still in the, still in the job. Just a moment, Koyomi. Got to grab my shoes and then we can go to school. Really? I didn't know our school had a strict uniform. I didn't know our school had a strict uniform or sleepwear policy, dummy. Nice jammies, by the way. Did you borrow them from your mom? For a moment, my eyes drifted down with no sunlight and deep brown, so I let her grow out. I don't have back doors in her room. Uh, there's something wrong with my jammies. The Golden Knight is a famous comic book here in the West. Golden Knight. Golden Knight. Besides, not everyone prefers to sleep naked like you. As long as the word is stirred, stripping, stripping out of my clothes, seeing me not minding the presence of a girl behind me at all. That happened one time. You know it was a super hot, it was super hot that evening. And jeez, warn me before you strip in front of me, you idiot. You didn't mind it when we were little. Perhaps you want to turn me around instead. <laughs> No, stop, don't make me kick your ass. The sign I had teased her enough, I quickly pulled off my pants and resumed working on the Hold on my hat, okay, that was weird. Hold on my pants and resumed working on the remaining few hours of blood and I was suitably dressed for school. Besides, I had a reason for being so distracted. You've been distracted a lot lately. What's going on in that hollow school of yours? It's 
that upcoming match, I got no idea how anyone can remain calm when an international career is at stake. I wouldn't be surprised if I started making up enough doomsday scenarios to fill up to fill the apocalypse genre. Oh right, the judo thing. I'm sure you'll do fine. I've seen some of your matches and you kick both. And of course, if you're really worried, you can always pray. Pray. What? Don't tell me you don't know. It's one of the school of legends. There's some shrine up in the forest that if you pray to it, it'll give you good luck. Ichikawa-san said that his sister prayed to it the night before her exam and she got 100%. The shrine that I said to give you good luck sounds bogus to me. But at this point, I'll be trying out anything, I guess. Maybe I'll talk to our classmates to get the location of that shrine. I'm not exactly in the mood to get lost in the forest and turn, and turn into a Japanese person. <laughs> Well, whatever. If you do go looking, at least send me a message and let me know. Are you going to hurry up, or are we going to be late again? My hero is never too early, nor are they too late. They are precisely when needed. But for the sake of missing detention, let's hurry. Oh, sorry. That's a wizard, not a hero genius. How can one person be such, be such a sports nerd and such a geek at the same time? Let's not forget the Casanova and Man of the Year candidate. Bits, there are important details. That you qualifies either of them, the job boy. Anyway, let's boldly go where <laughs> everyone has gone before. <laughs> to school! Yeah, nerd. That's pretty funny. Several hours later. Bleh, bleh. It had been during the afternoon when I finally had the chance to talk to my classmates and attempt to get an idea of where that shrine Goyomi had mentioned before had been. Jim was the last thing on the menu for today, so once we started getting ready to go home, I approached the guys. Hey, Chikawa, is it true that your sister discovered some shrine that said to grant you good luck? Oh, let me guess, you also want to date her. Wait, what? Oh, let me guess, you also want to date her. Well, even though I do have to know she's very attractive, I'm afraid she's already going out. Not to mention you're not. <laughs> wow, talk about an overprotective brother, Jesus. I already got my hands full of dealing with Miami. You can keep your sister where she is. Jokes aside, I'm more interested in the shrine. Did she mention where she found it? I didn't I didn't knew there was anything new as forest aside from the dojo. Oh well, uh she said something about it being near the river and quite high up. I'll be honest, I didn't pay too much attention when she was going on about it. I mean she was wearing this top and it was tightened. What is wrong with this dude? That's his sister. God. Stop, stop. <laughs> we don't need to hear the details. I doubt anyone wants to hear you daydream about your sister, my friend. Anyone else who heard about this shrine before? Are you talking about the luck shrine in the forest? Yes, the one and only. There's supposed to be one near a river corner to Ichi Ichiwa Ichi Ichikawa's sister. I just heard, was, it, was I saying it wrong this time? I don't know about that, but there's this fiery girl. Wait, are you talking about Arimas? Ari? Ah, Ari Asama? Small, strong, and scary? That's the one. Oh, then I can be a. Then I can be. I can't read all of a sudden. I messed up on his name and now I can't read. Oh! Then I can be of a bit more help. Takahiro Kun. Meh. <laughs> I know where that place is. I don't think Ari is. Senpai will... That's another thing I need to address. Senpai is not just a person who notices you. Senpai actually means upperclassmen. So it's Senpai, upperclassmen, and Kohai, underclassmen. So, so if you're, say, a sophomore like me, and you see a junior, they are Senpai. If you see a senior, they are Senpai. If you see a freshman, they are Kohai. You are Kohai to anyone above you. So as a freshman, you are Kohai to everybody. As sen senior, you are senpai to everybody, and except your, you know, your classmates. And if you're kohai, you have to do whatever senpai says. And that is not a joke. That is not an anime reference. That is legit. <laughs> um, I don't think I, 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 Aria senpai. I don't think Aria senpai will like it if you end up visiting her with your usual tricks in mind. Do I need to remind you what happened last time you tried to peek at her after she... Hey, there was blood, sweat, and tears. Just shut up! 
I don't, I do not, I do not go picking in there. That's slander, that is. I could sue you. I do not look into the changing room that cracks when Arya Sama is showering. Oh, then you haven't seen her naked yet. I've seen a bit of sleep, <laughs> but the knot hole I found doesn't really let me get a good view. There we go, someone call the cops. Beeping at Chikawa and it's confessed. I playfully fight at Chikawa's shoulder while I turn around, grabbing my bag and process my privilege. Anyway, thanks for the tip, Chikawa. I'll let the judge know. <laughs> I'll, let the judge... <laughs> I'll let the judge know you're most helpful during the interrogation. This is unfair. I was coerced. I was coerced. I was coerced. I won't say another thing until I speak to my lawyers. <laughs> Jeez. You're serious. Look. After school was over, I decided to bet my chances on the little bit of intel I had obtained from the classmates. In my memory, sir, if my memory served me right, that Arya Senpai was about to be practicing at the dojo today. Of course I knew her, and in the end she was a judo student like me, but for some reason I heard that she declined the invitation to compete in serious tournaments ever since a certain event happened. Arya Senpai, are you around? Well, I shot her to the name, I parked my bike to the nearby stall and looked around for her. There are the bikes. Huh! Huh! Yeah! Huh! Yeah! Yeah! Follow the shouts and you find the Senpai. I grinned briefly as I saw my Senpai seemingly being occupied with the practicing of a, seri of a series of motions, almost as if she was fighting an imaginary opponent. I love doing that. Doing your form as if there's going to be there. Perhaps it was a perfect opportunity to get closer to her and surprise her a little. Slowly I snuck over, making sure to make as little noise as possible before I reached with a hand toward her shoulder. Arya? At the touch against her shoulder, Arya Senpai reacted. She grabbed hold of my hand and without a loud and with a loud grunt she threw her away, curling and tipping me over her shoulder. It was all I could do to brace myself for impact as I hit the ground like a sack of potatoes. Oh my gosh, it's tiny. Yeah! Me. No one sneaks up on the great ship. Um, uh, Kunoichi, Kunoichi Arya. Oh, <laughs> Takabosu. So many names of the hisses. I can't even remember what they all mean. I don't remember what Bozu means. I didn't realize it was you. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Kunoichi, more like Tasmanian devil. That throw didn't hold a shred of mercy in it. There's no mercy in the ring, Takabozu. Better than you learn that lesson now than in two weeks' time. Let me guess, you want to do some sparring, right? I actually came here to ask you something, but perhaps a little sparring wouldn't hurt after all. Oh, what do you want to ask? We go all afternoon for the sparring, and I could do with a bit of a break anyways. Where to start? Senpai used to take part in big and... In big and important matches. Can you get nervous before the big moment? Jeez, I don't know why I'm so tired of Oh yeah, ha! Huh. This, I wish I could do it, but I'm sorry. This one time I got so nervous I hid in the kitchen cupboard until they had found me and dragged me into the car by my collar. Of course, that was when I was like, me. Well, obviously I can't go and hide from my match, but some friends of mine made this rather silly suggestion to go and pray or something. Honestly, at this point I take anything that calms my nerves a little. Taco Boko, are you sure about this? Why is my FPS 4? G7? 4? It went 4, 47. You mean the match? Of course I am. I've been... Of course I have. I've been practicing. I've been practicing. I've been practicing judo ever since I could walk. This is my best chance to represent my... Represent this country and in the sport I love to. Hmm. Senpai seems to think for quite a long time, all the while tapping the side of her jaw with her finger. Eventually, she snapped her fingers and grabbed one of me tightly. Alright, I'll tell you the way to the shrine, but it's not going to be a simple clap with your hands together and bob your head. You need to give something to the shrine, something of worth. I guess I'll figure that out by the time we get there. Anyway, thanks, Senpai, I appreciate it. We? Oh, no, 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 no. Takabozu, I'm not going with you. I've got training to do myself. Besides, you've got to take this step yourself. So I'm thinking while I'm reading. I can give you a map and an easy way to get back here, but you'll be on your own. It's weird because she's saying she needs to train, but once you train for her, she won't do any competitive matches. Ah, you're not taking it along? Guess it'll be guess it be my own adventure to undertake. Afraid so, Takabozu. 
let me just grab some paper. I'll draw it out your map. She can draw a map. I wish I knew somebody who could actually draw a map, not just the shit they teach us in geography. Ugh, geography and shit. Uh, after Arya's return, I followed this directions the map had given me. Surprisingly enough, it wasn't all that far. The tip to get back if I got lost was a little sketchy. Jeez, I didn't realize control was one of the controls. Let's see, skip mode. I see, skip mode. Blah, no. Mm. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Just look down and you'll be able to see the dojo route from anywhere on the hill. The forest nearby the dojo was my first challenge to overcome. A long path following along the trees and there was even the river Ichikawa's sister had mentioned in the distance. Of course, I decided to stay with my senpai's directions, and after an hour or so, I arrived at the shrine. The shrine itself seemed surprisingly well maintained despite being in the middle of nowhere. It made me wonder if somebody secretly lived there. Perhaps some secret martial arts master. Already daydreams of a potential hermit having hidden themselves in the shrine to prepare themselves for an upcoming clash between good and evil started to dwell on my mind. And yet, nobody is around. I saw it in my mind that the fact that the shrine ground seemed to be entirely abandoned. It was mysterious how the building seemed well maintained, but for that time being, I decided to focus on the reason behind my visit. To my film, it took only a few moments before I gathered the courage to enter the temple itself and inside found a rather fancy looking shrine of sorts. At the back of the hall. Ooh. I guess that's the shrine everyone's talking about. Alright, I'm just going to. I'm just going to take a quick guess and. What does this mean? Alright, just wanted to say that. Uh, I'm going to take a guess and say that when praying at the shrine, he's either going to summon the, the chicks or he's going to go like through time or something weird like that. Something crazy like you see in anime. Like in Inuyasha, she goes back to the feudal era and meets. I was kind of skeptical about the whole religious aspect, so I didn't hold too much confidence in the idea of some shrine granting me the luck I would need to win this match. In fact, I don't, in fact, I don't really think luck is going to help much in a, martial, you know, I don't say arts, in a match like this. In my opinion, martial arts didn't hold any place for luck. Actually, it kind of does, because if you have really bad luck and you slip, then you actually... Uh, I believe you got docked a point, but I can't which sucks, or you don't get doctor point, they get the point. It doesn't matter if they knock you down or if you just fell over. Especially if you fall out of the ring. Because then you have to get me. A match is all about using the knowledge you gather from experiences you obtained in previous matches and a nice bit of talent to help you guide through the match. There was simply no room for someone superstitious like luck. Clearly this would be a match where my experience and talent would be tested against that of my opponent. Nothing more, nothing less. Female voice. Ooh. Oh my god, the music just stopped. Music has been going this whole time, this is creepy. How curious, the boy doesn't believe in superstition, and yet this child of a man stands here in a place of power surrounded by the very thing he denounces. Upon hearing the voice, I looked around, trying to find the source, but there was no one to be seen. Who's there? A classic question to ask, and yet the right thing to ask would be, where am I? What do you mean? Obviously you're hiding nearby. Perhaps, but entertain me for a little longer. Why did you come here? If you do not believe in things like luck. I came here to prepare myself. Oh, do enlighten me about what this something might be that you are preparing yourself for. I felt a little bit annoyed by annoyed at all the questions, but perhaps if I kept talking to her, I would be able to find out where that girl was hiding. I'm preparing for a competition, a judo match. Judo? What's that? Seriously, you don't know what judo is? It's a highly skilled combat. I think the Undertaker knows a little bit of judo. I do taekwondo. Reaper did taekwondo at the place I'm going to now. So well, yeah, it's all pretty cool. We're all going to murder you eventually, our viewers. That's all we want. That's all we want from you, your souls. Aha! So you're a warrior. 
hesitant to go into battle and came here in hope of fi finding the resolve to fight. I'm not sure about the warrior part. How fortunate. It just happens that there is need for one of your kin. My kin? My hero. This shrine is meant to bless heroes like yourself. However, every, every great hero has to sacrifice something in return for the shrine's blessing. Sounds like what the others mentioned. However, I do like your vision more. Laughing briefly at the story the hidden girl was telling about the shrine, I decided to play along and clap my hands together in a prayer. So what's next? Toss my allowance into the praying box? <laughs> Don't be silly. Money is a little important to a hero. For you, the sacrifice will be something much more interesting and precious to you. I look forward to see what destiny has in store for you. As if on cue, the moment the girl's words reached my ears, I felt nauseous, like my head was spinning wildly. Slowly, I staggered backwards, collapsing onto my back, and while my vision started to grow hazy, I heard footsteps approach me. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, what the f Good luck, you're going to need it. Despite my attempts to get back up, all I could do is briefly look up at the girl. What the hell is she like? Is Does this game actually have a story to it? Is she like a villain? Because she looks pretty evil. The sight of the horns and tail made me wonder if she was cosplaying as some sort of anime character, but before I had the chance to say anything, my vision was consumed entirely by darkness. Fun fact, uh, two days ago, I... or two days ago? Yeah, two days ago. So two days ago, I went to SAC Anime, and it was so much fun, although we did leave early, which sucks, but it was fun other than that. I went with my girlfriend, who is now a BK artist, so eventually we'll have some stuff with her around. That will be cool. I already have the Yogg up on my channel. Uh, I played with her if you want to go check that out. Um, so yeah, it's really fun. We've cosplayed Koski. If anyone was there, uh, please leave a like and comment saying what you were cosplaying as because I really enjoyed seeing people that I know and don't know having so much fun. Uh, let's see. Come on. The rays of sunlight that glared into my face stirred me back into consciousness. I groaned of annoyance, leaving my mouth while I tried to get back to my, onto my feet. I felt a bit dizzy, but the first thing I noticed was that I was no longer really in the shrine. Rather, it looked like the forest that was surrounding the dojo. Of course, my first thought was to look around to see if I could find the same girl from before, but not a trace of her presence had lingered behind. To make things even more curious, the old, worn-down path that I had followed amidst the trees was better maintained than I remembered. Maybe I should head home. That thought was cut short when the sound of several female voices came from nearby. Get back here, Hikage. Hikage? Hikage? Get back here, Hikage. Stop them at once. Uh, stern voice. Just what exactly do you think I'm doing? I'm chasing them. I'm trying to stop them. Uh, sing song voice. Yeah, yeah, ha. Yeah, ha. Yeah, ha. I think they spotted what's missing, Onisama. Keep running, Chibi. Chibi. Nah. Yeah, what do I think? Fuck your pronunciations. Chibi Ko. And we just might escape. Just when I thought this day couldn't get any weirder, there came a the sound of heavy footfalls from the forest nearby. Well, that's the record. I like the music. What in the world is going on here? Just a little bit away from the path I was, walk I was walking on, I was on the path, and I saw a pair of girls be chased by another pair of girls. However, there were two things I noticed that didn't make any sense for me. Okay, it looks like two girls with weapons and two girls with ears and tails. The first detail of the girls being chased had ears and, and tail of a fox. And the other being that the girls doing the chasing were armed with a katana and naginata. Conniving Kitsune, come back here at once, return what you stole immediately. <laughs> I'm not reading that. Hey, Kage, how could you blur out something like that? <laughs> I'm not saying that. Uh, oh no, hope they was from the rampaging women. Well, the girl was all the way to me, seeing the other direction the shrine was located at. I couldn't help but find myself struggling with the decision to just leave them be. Well, I didn't know when the world was going on, the fact that two girls were armed with rather realistic looking prompts, for sure they couldn't be real. I couldn't call myself a hero if I let such a scene go by without acting. I'm so going to regret this. Mumbling and annoying, so I started chasing after the girls. Hey, go around the left. 
right, left, why you always undermine me? Oh, Colony, I was saying, I wasn't saying right, I was, you know what, never mind, just run after them. While I was chasing after the girl, I noticed the trees seemingly were getting a little bit denser, making it more difficult to navigate along the path. Let me sound like I don't think I can run much more, I was starting to get a little bit. Just a little longer, Mike, up then. We're almost, Mike, out. Like I'm not a headache, not now. So sorry, I saw a scissor attack. I arrived just in time to find a scene straight from an action movie. The fox girl with, with the blonde hair and class seemingly being held up in her companion's lap. The two arm girls were approaching them, all of us unmistakably with killing instincts running amok. Any martial arts could any martial artists could feel that. Those two girls were going to be in for a beating if I didn't stop them. We've got you now, Thieves. I'm going to personally drag your sorry butts back to town and have you both stop. Maybe I'll even see how you feel running around without a home. Yeah, although I must admit, having a breeze down there does feel kind of nice. Keeps me feeling fresh and a little bit of tea. What the fuck? Ikage, goodness, you have no shame, do you? This isn't about your nether food, it's about. and stolen. And, they're, and these two criminals being brought to justice. The only sign of hurts, I had hurts. It's going to be okay, Chiviko. Hey, you guards, if you're so desperate to have your back, then here, catch. Stop right there. However, before I was able to get time now. I'm blinded. Who the hell's also uh, feeling off the jet dust from my face? I raised them while into the air like a professor examining a form of sample. And the fox girls made their escape. But... Oh boy, I just knew this wasn't going to end up well. Ah, you there. Are you in cahoots with these crafty people today? Give, give those back immediately. Those are evidence of a crime and not for anyone else to touch. <laughs> this game. I'm innocent until proven guilty of one of the golden rules of court. Now stop pointing those weapons at me so I can hand over your without being turned into Shut up, just drop the evidence and walk away. I am Suki now. Suki? Suki now. Suki now. Oh, it's, oh, it's her last name, because she's now an idiot. Oh, wait. Maybe we were really... No, not really. Yeah. Oh, God. My normal total of season last name is Suki now, so it's Suki now Takashi. Suki now Mayo. Mio. Chief of the village guard, and I am ordering you to drop what you're holding right now. I don't know any, I don't know of any village guards, and I seriously doubt a cop will go around dressed like that and will they talk. More importantly, the ground here is muddy and dirty. You're sure I should drop the evidence? I mean, I could, but yeah. Before I could react, the pink-haired girl launched towards me, the spike of her. Uh, not, not getting out that aiming from my gut. My reflex is caught just in time, and I was able to palm away the spirit as it sailed through the air. I struck upwards on the wooden shaft of the weapon, sent it up in the air and unbalanced along. Uh, no, really, I did not order you to attack. Fine, fine, I'll give them back. Jeez, just my luck to find his choice of weapons to be the uh, there. Designed to extend the hand that held the girl's there. I tried to hand them over something that I would soon end up regretting. Huh, thinking I'd fall for something so simple fool, you may have fooled me once once twice. The woman swung her up clean and wide, arching a thick wooden pole into my side before I could dodge. She then lunged forward and grabbed me tightly, pulling my arms around behind my back, leaving me with a sore rib in a prone position. I could have fought back, but I feared it would only lead to more fighting and possibly being stabbed, which I could do without, so I remained passive. The sword villain girl stepped forward and grabbed the silky animal from, from my hand triumphantly. Hmm, your mentions might be crude, but they get results. Ikage. Uh, find his wrist. We'll bring him in for questioning. He probably knows, for, knows 
we probably know where those pesky thieves have been hiding. Right. And people wonder why criminals would resist at all costs. I remember weekly while I watched the girl with the Naginata. Naginata. Tell Mary Sealer with some rope as she can as rope yet concealed somewhere. I hope it was meant for actual fun. And soon felt myself dragged by the duo toward the direction of the city. Surely once we arrive, obviously you two will stop those role playing rooms and let me go. Alright, as much as I like to fool around, I got more important things to do. The city? Ha! Huh. We're not taking all that way. You'll spend a day in the village to sell us beef. Well, well, jail cell. Cuffed and dragged by two girls that I started to suspect were pretty much crazy in the head. When we left the forest behind us, the first thought that filled my mind was panic. The city I had lived in my whole life, it was gone. You got to be kidding me. Okay, so I was freaking right. Suck it. My genius mind has... Okay, I was taking a guess because of the anime I watched. So I'm guessing whoever made the game probably... If I wasn't in Tsukino, oh fuck, that was that was an accident. Oh great, man. Hey, no talking. Come on, I don't want to bump you that much. Kind of, maybe a punch or two. I just want to know. Uh, I just want to know how the heck you blocked my strike so easy. Your attack had a lot of power behind it, but it was a little bit predictable. Just the right moment. Enough pressure behind a counter that just. Enough pressure behind a counter that and counter and that was the result you saw. Yeah. But anyway, let me play along for a bit. Where in the world are we? This clearly isn't my hometown. I mean the buildings look more like they could be some sort of classic samurai movie. Huh? What the heck is a movie? This is uh, Harumaru. It's been here for years. He Hikage. He what the fuck is wrong with me? Pron pronunciation used to be the easiest for Hikage, I thought I told you to silence him if he spoke. Actually, you told me I could do it, but you didn't tell me that I had to. It must be tough being her subordinate. Based on our idle science, see for good. This sign has seemed to not be an, an idle threat for the girl. And she took her time and rested, rested the tip of the blade against my throat. I already started to regret having played the hero earlier. Hopefully there would be some with more common sense in the village. Several minutes later. Well, I think I've been recording long enough. Uh, I'll end the, this episode here, and I'll see you in the next one. Unless I decide not to play this game anymore, because that's definitely an option. So I'm just going to uh, save. Yeah. And so, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.